Breaking news, Nigerians. Falana gives Bobby Risky 12 hour ultimatum to apologize, retreat the formatory claim to secure presidential pardon with 10 million naira. Now, now he come. At least this is what they would have done, not by going after somebody when review, you know, waiting here, be she talk. You understand? Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're just joining us for the first time, I beg, subscribe, like us, share this video, make it go viral. Thank you and may God prosper you all. Amen. Nigerian human rights lawyer Femi Falana San has demanded a public retraction and apology from popular cross-dresser Bobby Risky over allegations that Falana requested 10 million naira to facilitate, to facilitate a presidential pardon. In a letter dated October 14, 2024, issued by Falana's legal representatives, Bob Risky was accused of making defamatory and false statements regarding Falana's involvement in the alleged bribe. Bob Risky had claimed in audios circulating online that Falana had requested 10 million naira to secure a presidential pardon for him following his recent imprisonment, adding that he had already paid 5 million to his senior advocate of Nigeria to secure the pardon. The legal team stated that Poburiski's claim were entirely baseless and damaging to Falana's reputation. They demanded a full retraction and apology, which should be prom pro permanently published on all platforms where the statements were disamented. Should Boburiski fail to comply within 12 hours of receiving the letter, Falana's lawyer warned they would pursue legal action, including claims for monetary damages. The letter obtained by Sahara reporters further reviewed that Bobby Risky had attempted to uh, solely, solely say 3 million naira from rapper, okay, uh, Fares, Falana son, claiming that the lawyer had promised to secure a special accommodation at Kirikiri Correctional Center. Falana's legal team made it clear that no such conversation ever took place and that Bobby Risky's claim were amid at extorting money from the public while tarnishing Falana's professional standing. The letter reads, we uh, cancels to Mr. Fala Femi Falana San therein after referred to as our client, on whose behalf we write this letter regarding your slant, this short statement against him. We have confirmed that you took an advantage of your recent imprisonment to extort money from a group of artists and other members of the public. You would record that. You called Mr. Fars, okay, on May 4, 2024, and requested him to assist you with the sum of 3 million naira to secure a special place to the Kirikiri Correctional Center. Even though Fars turned down your request, you were quoted in a video to have said that he informed you that his father, our client, had undertaken to write a letter of pardon for you. And you also said that our client had spoken to you and that the sum of 10 million naira would be needed to bribe officials who would process the application for your pardon. It continued. In other video, you claim that you had paid 5 million naira uh, up front to a senior advocate of Nigeria in an attempt to secure a federal government pardon over the charges filed against you by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC. You also claim that the senior advocate of Nigeria had Initial, in, initially requested 10 million naira for you for his legal service, but that you explained to him that you were unable to, to raise the full amount as your account had been frozen by the EFCC. Falana's legal team noted that Bobby Risky set out to en en enrich himself at the expense of their client's repetition 
In fact, you have since published a list of persons who believed your concocted story and donated millions of naira to pay your client to write a letter of pardon and bribe some unknown public of officers on your behalf. Your decision to involve our clients in the criminal enterprise was a figment of your fertile imagination. Contrary to your, your claims, you never briefed our client to write a letter of pardon for you, the letter reads. The legal team explained that Poboriski has never spoken to their client or instructed him to write a letter of pardon for him. They further denied that Poboriski made a part a payment of 5 million naira to their client and that their client never informed him and he had submitted a letter of pardon on his behalf. You will agree with us that you made all these defamatory statements in your reckless manner when you knew that you did not call our client on the phone to instruct him to write a letter of pardon on your behalf. Our client has never spoken to you on your pardon or any subject whatsoever, the lawyer said. The statement continues, having regard to the fact that our client has secured pardon for not less than 300 Nigerians convicted by military and civilian court in Nigeria, Libya, Thailand, uh, uh, and uh, the Gambia on a pro bono basis. Your defamatory statement have severely damaged his uh, reputation at home and abroad. We therefore demand the immediate retraction of the defamatory and defamatory statement as well as an apology permanently aired or published on all the platforms to which you have disseminated the offensive statement within, uh, within any justification whatsoever. Be wise that if you do not receive, if we do not receive your former retraction and apology as demanded within 12 hours of the receipt, therefore, we shall proceed with our client's instructions to seek appropriate legal remedies, including monetary damages against you for your incendiary defamatory statement. We hope that the silent issues raised herein will urgently be addressed by you in your own interest, they added. On Tuesday, Sarah reporters reported that the Lagos High Court had issued an interim order restraining Martins, okay, Vincent, known as a very dark man, from further publishing defamatory content about the renewed human rights lawyer. The court directed very dark man, his agent, and any associates to remove the, defam the defamatory videos and comments posted on September 24, 2024, across all his social media platforms. Uh, Justice M.O. Dawudu granted the order on Monday pending uh, Vincent uh, compliance with the pre-action protocol of the court. The ruling comes in response to a lawsuit uh, numbered ID slash 8586GCM slash 2024 filed by Falana against Very Dark Man. Well, this is really getting more interesting. It's okay like this. Um, it's okay. At least we teach uh, Bobby Risky, you know, a, a kind of lesson so that he knows how to talk. You get, he knows how to talk. You cannot just, who you be when you feel say, you won't let people know say, you're not going to go to jail. People when big pass, you don't go to jail, come out. Because what he go do, eh? That that voice when he go talk so, that call when he won't when he go make so, he was just trying to feel big boy, a big big care. <laughs> well, he 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 have to do it, or else he's looking for something else. So guys, I'm dropping it. Here.